Alrighty, we have some fish tacos coming on. We're uh, in my humble abode. It's summertime, 30 degree day on its way, and we're doing fish tacos for lunch. Subscribe and we'll get going. <laughs> step is going to be making the mango salsa. Like you spoon out an avocado, you can just spoon out a mango cheek. So your cheek, spoon, simple as following the end of the skin and just going all the way around. And that's your mango cheek done. Mango is done, next step is we'll chop up some nice little hot chilies. These are little, uh, little pepper chilies. Just slice them as fine as possible. So chilies are a personal thing so give them a taste before you put all of it in there just so you know how hot they are. And, uh, I'm gonna see how we go from there, but um, that's hectic. <laughs> Alright, so these chilies are really hot, so I don't need a whole chili in that because that's gonna just blow my head off. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, so pretty sure these little fuckers should come with a warning because that just blew my head off. Just test your chili, see how much you need, see how hot it is. This is still burning my face off. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go a tiny bit because. That's gonna kill you. Okay, some lime, lime juice. So roll them on the chopping board. Get the juices flowing. All right, so we're just gonna juice these straight into the uh, mangoes. Two and a half limes. One to half a garlic clove, depending how big it is. So just microplane again, so handy. Just go for it, straight in there. So just uh, pick your mint, so it doesn't have to be perfect, nice and rough and rustic. Give it a good mix, bit of salt, bit of pepper, and uh, your salsa's done. All right, so guacamole. Um, everyone's got their own special way. This is my version of guacamole. This is how I like mine. So I like your mango, just half and spoon your avocado out and just bloop, throw them in there. Two bunches of coriander. Give them a rough chop through, stalks and all. Straight in the bowl. So we've just established these are really hot. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go half this time because I'm not willing to try it again. Lime. All right, let's just go half a clove. Spanish onion, just half a Spanish onion. When you're um, brimwising or finely dicing onion, keep the, the end on, the root. By keeping this on, it keeps the onion together without it all falling apart. It holds it all together. All right, so that's your guac base. You know, get a whisk or a fork and just start smashing it up. But like I said, you want to keep it chunky. You don't want it to be puree. All right, so our guac and our mango salsa are all finished. Next step, cooking the tuna. We're going to dice it up, large pieces. Don't dice it at a tiny squares. You know, nice, big, plump, gorgeous pieces of fish. Sort of one, one and a half centimetres thick, slicing through. Feel free to use whiting or kingfish. So, hot pan. Simple olive oil, tuna. We're just going to sear it off. As I said, keep it rare. Lots of colour. Bit of salt. Uh, it's not going to take long at all. So what you're trying to do is just get colour on it and sear the outside uh, and sort of warm the centre. You don't want to overcook it. So that's exactly what you're after right there. And just finish it off with a bit of lime juice. Just to stop it cooking into, you know, really get that flavour in there. So just throw it out on your chopping board or a plate. So yeah, this is pretty much it. We'll throw some, um, some gorgeous little cherry tomatoes in there and uh, we'll start making one up. So like I said, personal thing, depending on what you do and don't like. Sour cream, palms and cheese, your salsa. Big dollop of guacamole. A few pieces of tuna in there. Cherry tomatoes. And get your fold on. Beautiful. All right, so that's my uh, yellow fin tuna fish taco. The best thing about tacos is getting to make them the way you want them. Um, like I said, it's, it's sort of three components, super easy. So let's, let's dig in, let's make a mess. 